What's going on everyone? It's Baron here. Today we're going to be talking about how you can use the Crucible. But before we get into it, I want to thank our patrons and channel members. But we got Fateless in Praetorium, we got A12345 in Dominus, and in Prevectus, we got the real Donald Dump, Reynold Rosenthal. So don't forget to check out channel memberships and the patrons. Also, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell to get all those notifications, and join our Discord server and comment down in the section below what you think of the Crucible. Alright, so we're going to get into this ship. So as you know, this is a heavy repair ship. Yes, it costs 350 US dollars. You can get it in the pack. So we're going to talk about where this comes into your fleet and how you can use it and if it's worth having because in my, I myself feel like it's going to be worth having and it's going to be in my fleet for a very good game loop to make me a lot of money. So a lot of you may know of this game loop. A lot of you may not. So we'll get into this and show you what we think. So obviously you've got the crucible here. It's got a garage here and you've got you sitting here in this little turntable which turns obviously. Now this does have repair arms on it. It's got all sorts of goodies on it. And as you may know, the actual ship detaches from the garage. So the reason for that being is that you can actually have a small fighter or a medium fighter come in here, get repaired, and then you can fly off and go repair a Javelin or an Idris while there is someone or NPCs in here doing their job repairing. So repairing and fueling and rearming, this is going to be the top dog of that ship. I definitely think that um, it, could only, it might not even be able to repair. So... Talking about this ship, obviously you can see in here, this image is a little bit fudged up, there we go. So in this image here, you've got a crucible here without its garage attached, obviously it's flown off from it. You've then got another crucible here and then another crucible there, repairing an Idris in battle. So this is going to be a great game loop and a great reason to have this ship, obviously being that if you have a large capital ships or sub capital ships or any sort of large type of ship, this is going to be very, very useful to have later on down the track when you are in battles. So once this actual game function and game loop comes in, you're going to be able to have a lot of great uses for this and we pretty much I'm going to tell you what those uses are so for me I'm going to have the crucible in this game loop with the endeavor the merchant and the reclaimer a lot of you may know this game loop so with the reclaimer you can go out and salvage get broken components destroy components and obviously you can't use those components so it's said that you can put those components in the crucible get the crucible repair those components get the components from the crucible to the endeavor once they're endeavor in the endeavor you can have the super collider once you're in the super collider you can overclock them and do as you wish with those components and then keep them for your own fleet and put them on your own ships or you can put them in the shop on the merchantman or the kraken privateer whichever you wish the kraken privateer is going to cost a lot of money to run uh, the merchantman i feel is going to be a lot of much worthy of having these in so you can make a little bit more money without having to spend so much on fuel and then sell them like i said or keep them for yourself it's completely up to you but this is going to be a fantastic game loop and i feel like someone a lot of people are going to partake in this. I know I'm going to be partaking in it, so I'm going to be basing my fleet off it. I've got the Merchant Man at the moment. I'm going to get the Endeavor, the IAE, hopefully. Um, possibly Crucible as well. So upgrade some ships like the Ares that I have and the Redeemer. There'll be LTI tokens later on down the track. I know they're good ships, but obviously you will be able to buy them in game. So saying that, I mean no great disrespect. I don't know why it's not letting me rotate. Um, I think that everyone should consider getting a crucible who has a large fleet and obviously if you have an org there's going to be multiple people that have a crucible in their fleet to help pair ships and get this like get jobs done. Um, the reason being for this ship obviously like I said repairing it's going to be a heavily repairing a heavy repairing ship and if you don't have one of these, I feel like it will be worth having because apparently in the garage as well, you can fit a tonk in there, so a tank. So I don't know how this is going to work, but it said that you can actually fit two or three. Well, people think you can fit two or three tanks in here because obviously it's bigger, about the same size as an M2, uh, C2, but you've obviously got more garage space. So it's said that people say you can fit more in there, whether or not you can get them in there. I don't know, uh, obviously it doesn't seem like you can get ground vehicles in there, it might have a ramp to get in and out, I'm not 100% sure, but that's just something we'll just have to see and figure out later on as this game gets more advanced. Obviously this game loop probably won't be here for a while, which 
is kind of sad, but it would be good to see it come in pretty soon and see the Crucible come in next year or the year after. But let me know down in the comments what you intend to use the Crucible for because I want to hear your game loops. Go to our Discord, let us know over there, have a chat. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and girls, I'll see you in the verse.